Hi everyone, I'm Tom, and in this short X-Ray Tech tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to sync your Airtable and Notion databases using Whale Sync, a no-code synchronization app. Let's get started. First, you'll need to have two similarly structured databases in both Notion and Airtable. Having the same fields in both databases will ensure that your data syncs properly between the two apps. At the very least, you should make sure that both tables have fields for all of the attributes that you want to synchronize. If you want one of the tables to include extra fields that aren't synced, that's okay too. Next, open up WhaleSync and create a new base. This base will be the sync that connects your Airtable and Notion tables. To connect your Airtable and Notion databases to WhaleSync, you'll need to authorize both services. To do this, simply pick your two apps from the list and follow the instructions to grant WhaleSync access. For Airtable, you'll need to provide your API key and base sharing link. To get your API key, go to your account settings and scroll down to the API section. Click on the API key and copy it. Be sure not to reset it in case you have other automations that rely on this API key. To get the base sharing link, Click on the Share button in Airtable and enable Base Sharing. Then, copy the link and paste it into the appropriate field in WhaleSync. Save the connection to complete the setup for Airtable. For Notion, you'll be redirected to a window where you can authorize WhaleSync. Simply pick the specific pages that you want to grant access to, and save the connection. Now that your Airtable and Notion bases are connected to WhaleSync, it's time to map the tables. Click on Map Tables, and pick the specific fields that you want to sync between your databases. WhaleSync will automatically match up fields with the same name, but you can manually map additional fields as needed. For instance, since one of our bases has the field called full name, while the other is just name, we'll have to map them together manually. Now you're nearly ready to turn on the sync. You just need to pick whether your base will operate as a two-way sync or a one-way sync. With a two-way sync, both databases will be updated to reflect changes made in the other app. Changes you make in Notion will appear in Airtable, and changes you make in Airtable will appear in Notion. With a one-way sync, the base will only update records to reflect changes in one of your apps. If you select the arrow pointing towards Notion, then any edits you make in Airtable will be reflected in Notion. If you select the arrow pointing towards Airtable, then any edits you make in Notion will be reflected in Airtable. Pick the syncing method you want to use and turn your sync on. Now that it's live, any updates you make to your database should be synced within a few minutes. Using WhaleSync to keep your Airtable and Notion databases up to date can prevent costly errors caused by inaccurate or duplicate data, and it can save you some time on copying and pasting information from one app to the other. It only takes a few minutes to get started, so try it out today. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below. And as always, don't forget, keep the flow.